you better love you better love you cause there's nobody no there's nobody who can love you like you do there's someone in the mirror and they got you yeah i just wanna be free just wanna be free anxiety free just a bit of mental freedom i just wanna be free What's up, y'all? Good morning. It is early, it's six o'clock again, and I have a word for you. Um, so I was reading Second Kings chapter five, talking about Naaman, the general, who battled with leprosy, and how his servant girl actually told his wife about Elisha and his ability, Elisha's ability to heal Naaman of leprosy. She said, you know, I wish my master would go and see the prophet so that he, the prophet could heal him of his leprosy. And so Naaman decides to believe the servant girl. Let's start there. The miracle of that of a man of, um, of great honor, a man who the king values because through Naaman, the king was able to win a lot of victories in battle. This mighty man of honor decides to listen to a servant girl and trust a servant girl, the humility the humility there or either the desperation I guess it could be <laughs> one or the other but I decided to look at that and think wow you know a lot of times even now people that are in higher positions you know they're not so quick to listen to people that they feel are beneath them but that's a whole nother story I digress so Naaman starts out headed to Israel with gifts, 150 pounds of gold, 750 pounds of silver, 10 sets of clothing, you know, basically to be healed. So he takes that to the king. The king tore his clothes because back then, you know, I could only imagine like you're you're in so much distress. You're in so you're like you're freaked out so bad that to the point where you're just tearing your clothes all off. Elisha heard that the king of Israel tore his clothes in distress and so Elisha sent word, send Naaman to me and I will heal him. Naaman goes. Elisha doesn't even go out to meet him. Elisha sends a servant out to tell Naaman, go and wash in the Jordan River and you will be healed of your leprosy. But Naaman in his pride got all in his feelings and was like why should i go to the jordan river aren't the rivers in damascus cleaner but his servants that were with him charged him like listen if the prophet would have urged you to do a hard thing you would have done it right you want to be healed right oh my bad because i thought somebody that wanted to be healed said something so naaman overcame his pride and actually did what the prophet said went to the Jordan River, dipped, and became whole. And God got the glory. He said, surely there's no other God than the God in Israel. And I want to ask you today, has the Lord sent people into your life with instructions for your life? And because you are prideful, you're missing your opportunity to be healed. I want to know, I want to ask you because, you know, that, that hit me. You know, Naaman, who had every I guess he felt he had every right to not listen to obviously he was like you know what I don't have to listen to that I could go to the rivers of Damascus why he want me to go to the nasty Jordan River where it's muddy you could barely even see the bottom of it like why he want me to go there when I could just go over here and do it like this why why you want me to change my diet when I could just do this and be healed but the lord is saying i'm sorry <laughs> i thought somebody that wanted to be healed said something so i want to ask you today do you really want to be healed or is your pride standing in the way do you really want to be healed or are you just being stubborn 
do you really want what God has for you? Or are you just going to continue to be disobedient and continue living the way you're living, but you're praying and crying out to God and complaining? Or are you just going to say, no, nope, you know what? I don't want to do what I don't want to do. I don't want to do things God's way. I'm just going to continue doing things my way. And I'm going to just whatever. It ain't even worth it to me. I'll just keep being sick. I'll just keep having leprosy. I'll just keep moving forward. I'll just keep dealing with this trauma. I'll just keep doing that when God is saying no it's time for you to get healed it's time for healing to come it's time for healing to come so let's not be like Naaman when the Lord gives us instructions to heal us when the Lord sends someone our way let's not and and it's not even that Elisha and Naaman had to he was even offended by that like he couldn't even come out here and he sent he sent a servant out here he couldn't even come out here to meet me himself i thought he would wave his hand over me and then i would be healed i thought he would do it this way i thought he see naaman had a um expectation that wasn't god's naaman wanted it done in a way he felt comfortable but god is calling your healing to come through a door of uncomfort uncomfortability so are you going to be humble enough to receive the way that god wants to heal you let's pray heavenly father right now just pray for the person on the other end of this screen father i pray lord that as you are preparing to heal them father that they have hearts that hear you that they have hearts that accept you they have hearts that accept the avenue that you are bringing their healing from father don't let us be like naming in the fact that we won't be obedient just because it's outside of our level of comfortability but father help us to be obedient no matter what the instructions are help us to be obedient no matter what it is and father give us the humility so that we can actually hear the the servant girl's request to listen to what it is you are calling us to do to what it is you are calling us to receive and act upon to be healed father god we know that it is your will to heal us so father i pray right now that you would send quite a prophetic revelation to the person on the other end of this screen what they need to do to be healed physically emotionally mentally in the name of jesus that they are not so prideful that they would miss you god that they are not so stubborn that they would miss you god father i pray that you would touch their hardened hearts i pray that you would just open their eyes to see that your desire is to heal them and yes sometimes it's going to come through a way that makes us uncomfortable but as long as you get the glory father that's all that matters and we want to see you move on our behalf so that we can say surely there is no other god like the god of israel surely 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 there is no other god like the god of israel we thank you father that you get the glory out of this in jesus name hey man i love you guys so much and i will see you next time mm. Mm. Just